I'm Emily Brinkley and I'm from Roxana, Illinois. Tell me a little bit about like your journey with tumbling and having performance anxiety or mental block and uh, just kind of your journey through that whole process. So ever since I started tumbling I've always had a problem with getting past just like the going back of new skills and um, it took me a while to get my round back answering, it took me a while to get my tuck and then once I got over that for a long time I was really good on doing my tuck. I did it every time, I wasn't worried. So I was, you were consistently yeah. doing this, this was for like Years or three years. three years, you're consistently doing the skills. And working layouts to okay. grow layouts, um, starting to work that first process of getting a full, at least okay. getting a half. And um, just recently, this past year, I just stopped doing my tuck. I just went into tumbling one day. I wasn't doing my tuck as consistently with break with COVID, and. Um, just for some reason, my brain just felt like I couldn't go over. So after you went back into the gym, what was it like, like whenever you were there, where it, was it difficult for you to do it, even like with the spot, whenever someone was spotting you on it? For a long time, I could do it with the spot, and I was fine, I was doing layouts, I was still doing fulls, all the spots, and I, um, I had to do it for a competition, and I didn't do it, and I think that broke me down, that okay. I couldn't help yeah. my team. Right, the pressure of having mm -hmm. to be able and to do it. And then I just stopped doing it at the spot all together. Right. I would just do a round off and stop. So there was nothing okay. that was going to get me back. Yeah. And something that uh, whenever we started working together, I asked you like out of 10 times attempting to do a round off back tuck with the spot, you would do it maybe like three times yeah, out of those 10 maybe times. Three, yeah. So, uh, So over our process of, we had three lessons together, right? Mm -hmm. uh, three private lessons together. Yeah. Um, you drove out here from Illinois, and on Monday we had our first lesson, and mm -hmm. then we had one on Tuesday, and then today, Wednesday, we had mm -hmm. our last one. Um, but now talk about kind of the process of us working together from Monday until now, where you're at. I was definitely really nervous coming into Monday. I felt like. I put a lot of pressure on coming here for myself. I didn't want to let you down and I didn't want to let me down. And from the beginning, it just felt like I was getting back into that momentum of cheerleading. And each day we were slowly getting somewhere. Well, pretty quickly, actually. Yeah. I felt like it was actually really quick that we got somewhere. And each day we just progressed and progressed and it felt really good. Right, and then uh, what did you do today? I did it all by myself without Levi anywhere near the mat. Without me even really standing good. there, not even on the mat. something I didn't even think I would leave. Going. That's up. Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, Emily! Yeah. I'm so proud of you, girl. Thank you. It's been fun.